The Old Coot here coming at you with another great recipe. This is smooth, scoopable granita made by an authentic Italian. Okay, so how do we get to this point? Just, I'm trying to do this video as short and sweet and fast as possible. Basically what it is, is you're going to take your water, right? Whatever volume you decide to use. Let's say you're using a thousand grams. 50% of that, you're going to have sugar. Or if you're going to use allulose, which is great for granita ice cream gelato, you get the idea, you're gonna use 40%. So it's either sugar or the allulose, not both. 50% to your water or 40% to your water, you get the idea. If you use the sugar in the water, let's say, 1,000 grams of water, 1,000 grams of sugar, use a good food skill. Put that into a sauce pot, this is an all-clad four quart. Let it come up to a boil, boil it for three seconds, shut off the heat, and then put it off to the side. At that point, you want to add a pinch, literally just a small little pinch of salt. You can use Himalayan pink, you can use the ground stuff pre-ground already, whatever you want to use. Just a pinch. Let this cool back down to room temperature. 68 to 74 degrees Fahrenheit, give or take. Once it comes down to room temperature, you're going to add 25% flavoring right let's say lemon juice to your water so if you had a thousand grams of water you're gonna have ding 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 250 grams of lemon juice you can squeeze your own lemons you can do whatever you want to do i just buy this stuff because it's already squozing i trust this company and it, believe me this is pure lemon juice here or if you want to use orange juice that's fine if you want to make an orange flavored granita as long as there's no added sugar very important there. Look to see that there is no added sugar, right? Once you add your lemon juice to your water and sugar, right? Or your water and allulose, you want to throw this in the fridge, like put it in a container and cover it. But you want to add this or throw this in your fridge for between 8 to 12 hours, give or take. Six hours you can get away with, but 8 to 12 hours, 12 hours is best. So molecular chemical reactions are going to happen. You want that to happen and you want them to happen at a natural rate. Do not rush any of the steps in this process. Once you pull this out of the fridge, you're going to pour it into your ice cream maker container thingamajiggy. There are so many types of ice cream makers out there. It's ridiculous. Redonkulous. I like this style better because I can do a batch, add more ice, and then do another batch if I wanted to. Whereas the containers that you have to throw into the freezer, you got to wait 24 hours for it to freeze again before you can make another batch. There's an industrial strength version of this that does six quarts, that does all these fancy jigamith thingamith thingies in the machine or whatever. I find the four quart, this one's the best. I did put a link down there below in the description. There's also a Breville that has a built-in compressor where you don't need to add any ice. Anyways, you get the idea. Your juice goes in here, right? Your, your granita liquid mixture goes in here. This is your dasher, just kind of like a spatula. This whole thing gets covered up right? This whole thing goes into this container. And then basically what you do is you pack three inches of ice. Then you put an eighth to a quarter of an inch of rock salt. And then the next layer, another three inches of ice, and then another layer of rock salt. And just keep repeating that until you hit this line or this line on the bucket. You'll know because when it's in there, the ice will just keep coming up to that point, And that's how you know when to stop. But it's basically ice, salt, ice, salt, ice, salt until you hit this line. Plug in your machine, leave it on for about 30 minutes, take the motor off, go ahead and check it, see where you're at. If you're at the consistency of like soft serve frozen yogurt or soft serve ice cream, you're at the right spot. You want to pour that or spoon that or spatula that into your ice cream containers. This one happens to be by Balchi. I like this brand. There's no hype. It's a decent price. This stuff is really built well. It's a good ABS plastic. It's very smooth on the inside. It's got a coarse or textured surface on the outside so you can grab it and hold it and all that good stuff. Put it in there, stick this in your freezer for at least three hours so it can firm up, and then you can go ahead and scoop and you get this beautiful, smooth, scoopable granita. We'll be back in another video to show you gelato and that whole process, but for now, Here's your granita. There will be a longer video coming up soon where I'll get into the details of all this stuff even more. But for now, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button down there below. 
Hit the comment section if you have a comment or question, and I will catch you all on the next exciting video.